Never seen a monkey in the world before. Garganta del Diablo. It is insane. And drove across the border into Brazil. Both mesmerizing and terrifying at the same time. It's time to go white water power boating on the Iguazu River in Brazil. <gasps> We're Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world. Right now we're making our way through the entire country of Argentina and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travelers. Hola from Iguazu Falls in northern Argentina. We are super excited to be here. We got up early this morning and took the 20 minute bus ride from Puerto Iguazu to Iguazu Falls, which you can just walk into the bus station and pay 700 pesos in cash so you get the good rate. Uh, and that's a round trip. Iguazu Falls is open from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. And when you arrive, you need to line up in a long line. We <laughs> advise you get here as early as possible. Yeah. There are lots of buses coming here every 20 minutes. Yeah. So we got in the long line and waited to get our tickets, which cost 2,800 pesos per person if you are a foreigner. So it's cost us 2,800 pesos to get in. And again, you can pay with cash. So we've got the unofficial rate. So we're super happy about that. But also we're planning to do two days here because the Argentinian side is where 80% of the waterfalls are and so it's larger than the Brazilian side so we're going to come here for two days and if you come back on your second consecutive day you get your ticket half price. As a little side note if you go on the Iguazu Falls website don't be confused by it you can turn up and buy a ticket at the entrance on the day despite what it says on the website so don't let that throw you. It's super hot today and we're melting so we're going to go get inside and try and find some mist to cool off in. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's some showers, so <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's head inside. As soon as you come inside the entrance of Iguazu Falls, there are two large maps either side of you. And there's also free Wi-Fi that you can use. And then you can scan and download a map to your phone, or you can get a printed map and carry that around with you. So lots of map options which makes us very happy and it's so much cooler in the shade here. We're here in mid-February so it is summertime here in Argentina so we're expecting it to be hot and that's why we're going to spend two days exploring so we can take it at a slower pace and enjoy. Gracias. And we're in. We're going to do the blue route in the upper part of the falls. We're also going to take the train up to the, the top of the park here and from there you can go and see Garganta del Diablo. And tomorrow we'll come back and do the lower part of the falls. There's also uh, power boats that you can go on and you actually go into the falls and get soaked. Let's go. We're on the Blue Trail and it's about a 20 minute walk to the start of the Blue Trail from the entrance to the park and just two minutes into the Blue Trail you're met with this epic view. Our first set of waterfalls already and we've only just started the Blue Trail. Top tip, bring your own water bottle because there are plenty of water stations to fill up and if you're here on a hot day like we are, you'll need it. <laughs> Definitely, we've come at such a hot time of year, it's like 34, 35 degrees today and the humidity is just through the roof, but it's so beautiful. We're just 
stopped here because A, we saw some cool looking little plecos down in the water and also there's a breeze, this is so nice <laughs> and it's quiet, there's no people here <laughs> never seen a monkey in the world before and these little cappuccino monkeys are so cute and inquisitive and friendly and they've got like little old man faces they're so sweet <laughs> it's like following us along the boardwalk so cute We've just completed the upper trail and I'd say it took about an hour, an hour, hour and a half or so. It's really nice, you get the best views or best views we know of so far across <laughs> the park and uh, we saw so much wildlife as well. It's amazing, it's so full of life here um, and we're just making our way back to the train station. Uh, we're going to sit and have lunch, jump on the train and then head up to uh, Devil's Throat. Devil's Throat. We went out last night and bought ourselves lunch. We went and got a subway, which we bought with us today. Kirsty's just tucking into hers. We've got a nice soggy salad subway sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of still cold, thankfully. Um, and we were told that the food here is quite expensive, so we thought we'd bring it with us just in case. If it's not any good, we'll have to get by something, but I think it'll do. It's okay. And I got a chicken subway, hoping it doesn't turn my stomach. But it does still feel cold. At the park they've got such great facilities. You can shower yourself, which we've both just done. <laughs> and also there's water, you need to fill up your water. That was I was filling up my water. Look down on the ground and there's a huge lizard. He's awesome. Just having a little drink. Absolutely loving how much nature we've seen today. So cool. Time to jump on the train to Garganta del Diablo or Devil's Throat. Let's go. Cool. Oh, I've got a carriage to myself. Gracias. <laughs> Garganta del Diablo or Devil's Throat. It is insane. Definitely the biggest waterfall we've ever seen. It's actually quite overwhelming. There's so much water coming over the edge. This is the River Iguazu and there's just stunning, it's making stunning rainbows with all the water in the air. It's just really dramatic. Nothing can prepare you for this. It's really beautiful. And as you can see, we're getting pretty soaked, but it's so hot. It's actually really refreshing and nice to get covered in the mist. Yeah. We're really loving being here. It's stunning. We arrived and you just have to stand here for about 10 minutes just to absorb it. <laughs> Not the water this way that is. <laughs> It's absolutely awe-inspiring, the sheer volume of water coming over the edge there and then it just disappears into this mist and you've got this beautiful rainbow going all the way around here. I could stand here all day just cooling down and 
trying to just absorb this view. Just standing here getting cooled down by nature in the sunshine with the most unique rainbow I think I've ever seen in my life. I can see why this is the highlight and I can also see why the Guazi Falls and especially Devil's Throat is the number one tourist destination in South America. And although it's busy, it's not as busy as I thought it was going to be so it's definitely a thumbs up for me. Yeah, me too. Definitely gets a thumbs up. <laughs> Just a little bit. And do you know what that is over there? Uh, the viewpoint from Brazil. That's Brazil! <laughs> hey Brazil, we'll be there in a few days. <laughs> What a way to end the day. Garganta del Diablo is absolutely epic. It's definitely not like anything I've ever seen before. We arrived and just were like taken away. We both sort of stood there for a few seconds like, wow. <laughs> the, the, just absolutely blown away the by it. The sheer volume of water of coming around the bowl, or the throat, I guess. <laughs> and just going in is like kind of breathtaking. It's incredible. And then it the is. rainbow, perfect rainbow just tops it off. Beautiful. Incredible. We were stood there for at least half an hour at different viewpoints, just <laughs> just absorbing it all in. It was amazing. Yeah, and it's so nice to cool down. I kind of wish that the mist you get there followed you the whole way back, because now we're back on the walkways and it's like, ah, oh, melting again. <laughs> you soon dry off. So that's the end of day one exploring Iguazu Falls. We can't wait to head back here tomorrow with a half price ticket and do the lower walk and maybe hop on a boat if we can. <laughs> but for now we're going to head back to our accommodation and just chill out for the afternoon. So we are back for more adventures in Iguazu National Park on day two. Uh, we arrived and we tried to book on one of the jet boat tours. There's less boats going at the moment because of the hot weather event. El Nina is around this year. It means there's obviously high temperatures, it's very dry, there's very little rainfall. And so the river level is very low at the moment so they can't even get the boats that far up the river towards the falls. But we're now starting the lower trail, so we're gonna see some waterfalls there. It's, <laughs> it's warm again today. Yeah. Do not underestimate, if you come at this time of year, it is very hot. <laughs> Let's check out the lower trail. Oh, here's the cafe at the lower section. It's really well set up. There's one at the upper trail and there's one here as well. And places to cool off, which is really needed today. <laughs> that was brilliant. Cheeky monkey. Look at him go. Oh dear. Oh wow, that kid's lunch now belongs to the monkey. <laughs> I can hear some waterfalls and now I can see them. <laughs> oh. As you walk along you just catch glimpses through the trees like this. Epic views of the waterfalls. So many waterfalls. And so many people. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many Instagram versus reality shots that you can get here. You can get it looking like there's no one here, you can see some shots, but in reality you've got people barging and pushing for the photos. It does feel busier today. I don't know why, it's still midweek, but it's like a little. Also maybe the lower trail is busier than the upper trail. We don't know, it's just our experience. Heard some scampering in the hedge and there's an armadillo. Hopefully you can see him just digging in there.
And just like that, off he goes into the scrub. Really is about timing. First only... armadillo in the wild. Yeah, I think I've only ever seen armadillos on TV before. I've never even seen one in a zoo or anything. Wow, this butterfly. butterfly is insanely beautiful. The butterfly's like flying around us like, never mind the armadillo, what about me? I'm too pretty. <laughs> Wow, here we can see the Garganta del Diablo or the Devil's Throat from the lower viewpoint. It is stunning seeing the canyon all the way along from this angle rather than being up there. Wow. Wow, here we are at the final viewpoint of the lower walk and we can see obviously Devil's Throat over that side and then that huge row of waterfalls that we saw yesterday and we've seen a few boats going by and you can see loads of eagles from this viewpoint. Really glad we did come back and see the lower waterfalls today but I am also really glad that we only paid half. If you come back on the consecutive day you get your ticket for half price. Also what I would say is if you were to get here the first thing when it opens up and it wasn't as hot as we've had it you could probably do everything in one day. We've been doing things at a slightly slower pace because Craig's not been well and also because it's super hot. Look at this view. It's a completely different perspective seeing it from the lower than it is from the upper. Here we are on day three of Iguazu Falls and this time we're in a new country because we just got in a taxi from Puerto Iguazu and drove across the border into Brazil! <laughs> so we're finally going to see what the whole waterfalls look like on the Brazilian side although there's only 20% of the waterfalls to see on this side we have managed to get ourselves a ticket to do the boat ride today. It costs quite a bit of money it's 362 real which I think converts to about 50 pounds per person so this boat ride better be good later on today. The boats leave every 20 minutes so it's a lot easier to, to do it here than what it was on the Argentinian side is what we have found so far. We just bought our tickets here at the entrance and they cost 107 real per person which I think that must be about, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds. And this is just us using our card because obviously they don't accept pesos and that's all we have is pesos or using our credit card. So now we're gonna head inside. So whereas on the Argentinian side, they have a free train to take you around the park. Here you get a free bus included with your ticket. So we're gonna hop on the bus and spend the morning walking around and then grab some lunch because again it's super hot today. We did have some thunderstorms last night so we were hoping the air would clear a bit but it's still super super hot. We're going to get soaked on the boat later so we're looking forward to cooling off that way. But yeah, let's go check it out from the Brazil side. Yep, day three in Iguazu and the Brazilian side definitely feels a little bit more, maybe grand isn't the right word, but the entry plaza is a lot bigger, feels more American. <laughs> but the Argentinian side feels a bit more rustic and also at the entry plaza here on the Brazilian side, you jump on a coach at the entry plaza and it takes about 20 minutes for you to reach the first footpath. Yeah, everyone gets off at the same point, so there's quite a few people as well. You see some waterfalls over there though, it's cool. Check out the waterfalls. <laughs> There's great views but they feel further away. So I'm guessing as we, we've got like a three and a half kilometre walk to do now, so we'll probably walk on the way around and see some. top of those waterfalls is the upper walkway that we did on the first day. Maybe through these trees down here you can see the lower walkway which is where we were yesterday looking out across here. Just up there is the lighthouse. It's a very short walk on the Brazilian side, about 10 minutes from where you get dropped off on the bus before you can see Devil's Throat or Garganta del Diablo. What I, a view. I really wish we could be closer and be getting to spray right now, it'd be so nice. <laughs> Just melting at this viewpoint. Iguazu National Park, it doesn't get any less stunning seeing all these different waterfalls from so many different angles. So 
very beautiful. We're walking across the main raised walkway across the falls now and this is what you see in all the marketing shots and videos of Aguazu National Park, certainly the Brazilian side anyway. You really do get an incredible view of Garganta del Diablo from the Brazilian side. Yeah, it's really cool to see along the river and cool to see where we were uh, the first day. And I think if you've got a couple of days, I would highly recommend doing the Brazilian side and the Argentinian side because it is completely different seeing it from the perspective. Seeing the Devil's Throat from the Argentinian side, obviously you, you are very up close so you get a spectacular view of it but from here you can kind of you set back a bit so you can see it all properly yeah. uh, slightly different experiences but yeah you don't get wet here yeah. <laughs> but it is nice side. and cool like you come out onto this ledge and it's like a nice breeze you get a tiny bit of spray but not like not like you do at the top there but yeah, yeah. highly recommend doing both if you've got the time that is so cool looking straight down and seeing the mist that's creating the rainbow looking all the way down the canyon and that breeze is so nice it is both mesmerizing and terrifying at the same time it's so beautiful Seeing how powerful the water is, like gushing along the canyon, I'm kind of terrified, but we've booked it now, so let's do it. <laughs> Power boat time! <laughs> yeah, want some spray from those waterfalls? It's needed. Oh, that breeze! As the bus moves. <laughs> so we've just got off the bus, and we have arrived for the main event of the day. We're heading for the speedboat. <laughs> I can't wait to cool off. And Kirsty's got some sugar cane. I have. I've never tried sugar cane before. And one of the girls on our, on our bus offered me some. We arrived at the uh, entrance to the powerboat place and we are now doing the 450 steps down to where the pontoon is that you get on the boat. We just had our... Uh, <clears throat> safety briefing <laughs> and uh, it was over and done with very quickly but yeah now we're we're coming down the stairs uh, just looking forward to getting on the boat definitely uh, working up a sweat for it <laughs> on top of the 50 pound each we paid for the ticket to go on the power boat they make you pay for a locker as well basically all your stuff you need to keep from getting soaking wet so she said take water with you so we've got a bit of water left hola Got a bit of water left, but uh, we said, can we top our water up? They said, no, but you can buy water. They, uh, they definitely get their money's worth out of you on the Brazilian side. On the flip side, check this out. That's where we were yesterday on the lower walkway. But check out this walkway. Hola. Hola. If you're not a fan of heights, I wouldn't suggest doing the power boat. <laughs> How were the 450 steps? I feel alright going down, I'm just not looking forward to going back up. <laughs> it looked like there were some people seriously flagging on the way back yeah, up. Yeah, it did. I guess at least we'll be safe, so we'll be cooled down a bit, but yeah. They don't tell you this when you book these things. They also don't tell you that you've got to pay for your lockers. They're sneaky. <laughs> So after all those steps. I'm just gonna blend the pontoon, it's not me. <laughs> I'm not shaking. Hola. 
Right, it's time to go white water power boating into waterfalls on the Iguazu River in Brazil. I really need to pinch myself saying that <laughs> after you. How warm is the water? Yeah, that is really warm. That is where we're going. Let's go! Being this place in the waterfall, this is so cool. Gotta get closer. <laughs> We're about to get soaked. Let's go up to Devil's Throat. No. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Just started monsooning. Moving at that speed, that is like bullets hitting your face very wet bullets this is amazing look at the rain now this is insane we were getting absolutely scorched in 36 degrees heat all day we come on the boat and go under a waterfall and then the monsoon comes it's good though this area really needs it everything is so dry it's gonna sort it out I'll tell you what though, my headache is gone, my stomach feels fine. This is the best I've felt in about four days. How good was that? <laughs> good way to end off three days at a Guazu pool. Awesome. We've been kicked for three days and now we've just been shin monsoon on. <laughs> what an epic way to end our three days in a Guazu. That was so good. Yeah, highly recommend ending your visit here with a powerboat trip yeah. in a monsoon if you can <laughs> if you can tie that in as well. That was unbelievable yeah, timing. Yeah. So refreshing. Feel alive again. Join us next time as we arrive in the southernmost city in the world. This gateway to Antarctica has a beautiful backdrop of Patagonian mountains, glaciers and a view out across the Beagle Channel. We waste no time getting out on our first ever hike in Patagonia. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at Tried Not Travelers, or for exclusive behind the scenes content we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And then head up to uh, Devil's Throat. Devil's Throat. I was going to try and say the Argentinian way. Del Diablo. <laughs> Gambino del Diablo. Something. <laughs>
and hopefully we're going to find ourselves at Gargantia del Diablo or the Devil's Throat soon. And there it is, the Devil's Throat from another view. Or <laughs> well, the Garganto del Gar Diablo. Garganta del Diablo. The Garganta del Diablo or the Devil's Throat from the lower point view. Wow, it's cool, you can see that it's Insta versus reality. We are just sat here mopping ourselves, absolutely <laughs> melting. Look, <laughs> Kirsty's never usually like this, but I've even she's like in my life. mopping herself down. <laughs> Thanks.